five grocery stores, it used to be three dairies. Well, the people left and, you know, that's... Uh... I was born here, just above the churches. Of course, I've had to move out two or three times to make a living, but I've always came back. After World War II, many people had to leave here to get work. I think it's going to get a little worse before it ever gets any better myself. And there'll be some, some hard times to come for some folks. For us out here, we'll survive pretty good, you know. Kind of raise your own food. started in the 80s, they started going to town, and then when Walmart came in, that knocked most of the old stores, little stores out of business, all over, not just this community, all over. This is home to me. It's home, you know, even though I lived down there all them years, this was still home right here. You grow up as a kid and all, that's, that's where you want to go back to. Just think, Raymond, you could be the first president or vice president at the White House to grow a garden in the front yard. <laughs> grow a dog. Grow a garden. garden. Peas, corn. Now, ain't no smart president to think about it. You ain't never seen none of them grow a garden. And that's a pretty place to grow. Yeah. Now you Everybody got to it. I used to be more people here years ago. There's over 300 people here. But things have changed. Progress, you know, you're just not going to stop it. You can slow it down some. It was a good place as a kid to grow up. Uh, you didn't have a, a lot of crime or nothing like that. Everybody was, kids were pretty well disciplined. They were elder, you, 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 you said yes ma'am and no ma'am to them, you know. This bluff, see, you can see, it's grown up now, but you can see all over across the river, all in through there, all this was down, but it's, it's grown. And if you walk right in there, that bluff, it drops down there about 75 foot. This goes all the way around on the eastern side of Red Bay. It's like Red Bay sitting up on a plateau here. If you go to the west, then it drops down that way. But here you got this, it runs all the way, right on around. All the old people, when they farmed back in the 1800s, not early 1900s, this is where they farmed. They didn't farm up in this sand up here. They farmed in the more fertile soil down below. If you get the moisture to it in the sunshine, you can grow it. With the economy and the position that's in there, a lot of people don't have the money to spend. How can a man stay in an air-conditioned office, tell what is good for a man that's out in the heat, 100 degree heat, eight, 10 hours down day, and then say, hey, you know, that man needs so-and-so. He has no idea what's even coming off. You go up there, damn gas, $4 a gallon, shit. 
I told him, I said, when that gas went over three dollar, within six months this country would be to its knees. And it didn't take that long. I've been in Red Bay for 10 years. This little settlement has been here for over 200 years. Most people these days travel on interstate highways. And when you travel on interstates across this country, you see the same thing, convenience stores and fast food chain restaurants. If you get on rural highways, state highways, not just in the south, but throughout the country, you'll see something different. Stores that were once small community stores that are boarded up, and grown over in vines, and they're scattered throughout this region particularly. Well, there was a time that those stores served their community well. 